Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to cover two more Visual Force tag. So the first tag that we're going to discuss is the tab panel and the second tab is the tab. Now what is this tab panel? So tab panel is an area where you're going to specify your tabs. So tab panel, let's say it is going to be like this. This is, let's say this is the tab panel and on the tab panel, you're going to have multiple tabs. According to the definition here, a page area that displays a set of tabs. Now, when a user clicks on a particular tab, let's say if the user click on this tab, then the content of this tab will be displayed and it will hide the content of the rest of the tab. Now, if the user click on the two, the second tab, then the contents of that tab will be displayed and it will hide the contents of the first tag or the other tags. What is the purpose of this tab tag? Now, this particular tag creates a single tab inside of this panel. That is what the purpose of this tab tag is. It creates the single tab in the tab panel. Now, this Apex tab component must be a child of the tab panel. So you cannot create a tab on its own. You have to put the tab inside of this tab panel. So how do you create? The first thing is you're going to have a Apex tab panel. And inside of this tab panel component, you can have any number of tabs. So you're going to have your first tab. You're going to create another tab if you wanted to create, and then you can have a third tab. So you can have multiple tabs inside of the tab panel. Now this tab component has an attribute, which is called the switch type. And if you do not provide the value of the switch type, the by default value of the switch type is called server. Now, what is the purpose of this switch type? Now, this is the implementation method for switching to this tab. So basically, whenever you switch between the tabs, let's say from one tab to you went to the other tab. Now, what is the implementation method for the switching that is defined using this attribute? The possible values of this attribute can be client, can be server, or it can be Ajax. And what is the difference between each of these? We are going to see with the help of an example now. And remember the default value for this attribute is server. So let's go ahead and create a similar UI like this. And let's go ahead and do an example. So we're gonna go back to our developer console. And this time, let me go ahead and create an example and we'll call it as tab example. Let's say the ID for this page tag is the page. Now we're going to go ahead and create tabs, right? So first thing we need to do is it has to be a child of the tab panel. So we are going to go ahead and use this component called tab panel. That is where the area where you're going to add your tabs. So inside of this tab panel, you can have the tabs. So here we're going to say Apex. the first tab and what is the name let's say we call it as so the attribute is the label so we're going to use this and let's say we call it as home so this is the home the home tab and uh, the name let's say we call it as home one and id for this tab is called tab one let's say this is the id for this tab and whatever the contents you want to put it so let's say i wanted to put something like This is, let's say this is what I want to do, put it in the content section. Similarly, we are going to create another tab here and uh, we are going to go ahead and call this as, we're going to use this another, the same component, Epix tab. And uh, the label, we'll call this as students. And the name, we're going to call it as students1. And the ID, the unique identifier for this component is called as tab2. And inside of this tab, let's say this is the content for the tab2. So what I've done is I have created a tab panel. And inside of this tab panel, I have defined two tabs. The first tab is home and the second tab is the students. That is the second tab. Now let's go ahead and hit the save button. 
So you can see here once by default the home is selected. When you click on the students, it goes ahead and display you the contents of the student tab. When you click on the home, you see the contents of the home tab. When you click on it, don't you see that the whole page is getting loaded like this whole thing? That is because of the switch type attribute that we talked earlier, the switch type. So here the value for the by default, the value of the switch type attribute is server. So here by default, if you do not specify anything, it is going to be equals to server. And that's when, when you click on this, you see that whole, the page gets refreshed. Now, if you change the switch type to client, let's see what happens. Now, if you change this to client, then in that case, if you switch between the tabs, you do not see that whole refreshing, right? It just changes these contents. If you go back and you see the difference, what I'm talking about between server and client. So if you go ahead and click here, now this whole page is getting loaded, looks like. And then home, if you switch back, it whole page gets loaded. But if you change the switch type to client, now in that case, you do not see the loading. You do not see that refresh of the page. You can see here, it's very smooth. So once you click on the home, it shows you the contents of the home. If you click on the students, it displays you the contents of the students tab. And always remember, if you do not have this attribute, let's say you, and you're trying to just create the tabs. Now in this case, you're going to get the error and it will tell you that what is the error for? The error is for, it says the Apex tag must be between this tab panel. So you cannot create tabs without having a tab panel. So tab panel is, is the area on which you're going to create your tabs. So we have added two tabs here. The first is called the home tab and the second one is called the student. So the label is the one which will display here. This is the name for the tab and this is the unique identifier for this tab. So tab one and this is the tab two. Whatever the contents that you want to display, you're going to write inside of this opening and close braces. And similarly, whatever the contents you want to display, you're going to write here. So let me go ahead and copy this whole tag and put it here and close it again. And then hit the save button, the error will disappear. So this is what the tab panel component and tab component does. So always remember the switch type attribute tells you the implementation method for switching to the tab. And the values can be client, server, and Ajax. And if you do not specify the value of the switch type attribute, then the value will default to server. And if you have specified, then this value will override the switch tab attribute on the tab panel component. So if you have already specified, then that will take the precedence over the server default value. So this is how you create tabs and this is how you add contents to the tab. So right now, guys, you might be feeling that I'm kind of covering a very simple example, but that's fine. Hold on to it because I'm trying to explain to you all the components that we're going to use in our upcoming tutorials, which will get more and more complex. So in there, I'm not going to explain to you the meaning of each and every component. There, I'm just going to use those components. Since you have this understanding of each of these tags, it will be very easier and very, very fast in the upcoming more complicated examples. So I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. And if you have any questions, you can always email me or you can post a discussion in the discussion board and I will be happy to help you out. And uh, thank you so much and I will see you in the next tutorial.